Uh, g'day, comrade subscribers. We're at uh, it's the third of January, twenty twenty-three. We're currently at seven forty-nine subscribers. Thanks for hanging around. Um, this just arrived from the US. Thanks to Mr. Varkman for um, uh, spotting it. It's um, it's a Canon XO seven handheld handy personal computer. Oh, okay, that's interesting. So this is my original one that I've done the videos on, uh, an Australian one. Um, let me get it out of the case. And this one, well, this one was a little special, so I had to had to check it out. But yeah, it's uh, this one's an X07 handy personal computer, not a handheld personal computer. And hey, the screen looks all right. Uh, what else? So keyboard's a little different. So here we actually have the Japanese katakana. So that might be, if you're looking, well, if you watched my previous videos, there is a link on the motherboard for foreign or domestic. Um, so this one is, is linked for foreign. Uh, and I speculated that maybe it was, you know, defaulted to katakana or something. Whereas you look on here, so we've got continental characters on, on this Australian one. When we look on here, we've got um, Latin and Katakana. So, yes. I think otherwise, oh yeah. So here we've got Num. Here we've got Kana. It's written Kana. So, yeah. So we've got Kana written there. But yeah, so this is a an interesting little contraption. So it's it's in a kind of a custom made case, decent quality, cutouts for the contrast, uh, or is that volume? Maybe that's volume contrast tape port, and I think there might be a ROM in there. I'm hoping there's a ROM because it says run ROM one. EOS, EOS, well, Canon EOS cameras. I believe this is um, some sort of unit that you could use to control uh, Canon cameras. We've got nine volt battery here, uh, connected into, okay, and we've got this board here connected into the serial port, which then also has an adapter out to, I assume, Canon. EOS camera. I, I don't. I'm a Nikon person, so I don't. I don't have any Canon cameras. Uh, so we've got to extricate all this. We can't just leave it like this. We've got to pull it all apart. Uh, power supply. Is it battery operated? It looks like. Where did the power go in? Ah, or maybe that's what this nine volts is. Maybe it runs off this nine volts. Where did the power go in on this one? Oh yeah, okay. So they've blocked off the, the AC adapter for whatever reason. I assume it was meant to be portable, so I figure there's no need for the AC adapter. Got a couple of we'll give you a bit of a close up of the of the board before I pull it apart. MC14001B, so I wonder what they do. Some sort of memory? I don't know. Got a red and, whoops, red and green LED. Okay. So, uh, I was going to power it with AC. I'm going to have to find a bloody 9 volt battery now, aren't I? I think I do have a 9 volt battery somewhere. Oh, that's cute. Let me, let me just go mobile. So they've gone to the effort of, oh, I don't know why that did that then. They've gone to the effort of insulating <laughs> the legs on the capacitors. Good old Japanese. So that's interesting. I've never seen that done, especially on, on decoupling capacitors. Cool. All right. Um, 
Let's let's maybe have a look to see what's in the ROM ROM slot. I don't know if there is. I assume there is um, because there looks we've got space for an additional ROM. I'm ass I'm assuming for an additional card so you can stick in more memory or something. That's what I'm hoping. Well, having said that, I have no idea how I'm going to be able to dump the ROM. Maybe it is empty. May oh yeah, if they would have maybe no, nah, they did. Oh no, no. What's this? Okay, so unless it's just okay, so there is no ROM. Okay, no ROM card, but. Is that an expansion? Maybe that's an expansion. Mm -hmm. mm. So of course, yeah, maybe if it was some sort of custom ROM, they maybe would have taken the, the ROM out before it left Canon or something. Oh, oh well. That's a little disappointing that there was nothing in there, although maybe there is no space for something in there. Off, open, because this, yeah, so nothing would fit in there because this connects to that. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that maybe this so was so you could slide ROMs in and out easier, uh, ROM, like RAM cards, because the RAM cards were battery backed. You could slot them in, take them out, slot them in, take them out, without having to opening, without having to open the um, the case all the time. So that could be what that's for. Um, but it is interesting. It says run ROM one. So I'm going to have to power it up, get a nine volt battery, see what happens. Okie dokie. Nine volt. Battery. Is in. Oh, how does it go like that? Push up against there. I'll just stick it like that for now. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't have RAM expansion. Oh, can you see that? Can you even see it? So, okay. Let's see what this does. Uh, okay. Ain't gonna work, unfortunately. So yeah, looks like maybe you had to did have to have that in. That's a shame. That's a shame. So what else can we do? So we can go Kana. Some text error. Okay. Oh yeah, there we go. We got we got cutter Kana going on. Oh, doesn't think cutter Kana is a syntax error. Uh, so, uh, foo. Where's foo? Foo. Where is foo? I don't know. Sorry, I don't know katakana keyboards. And then how do I do the chon chon? Poo. Chon chon? Ah. Boo. And then where is, is it? that re? Boo. Do 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 suka so na ni ra se chi to um I need to sorry is that is that there pure pure to is on to is like that, I think. Sorry, this is probably very boring. I'm just trying to write my name, but although I should have a small dot. 
which is probably one of these ones up here, actually, isn't it? Anyway, Bretto, <laughs> Bretto, Brett. Okay, all right. So there's nothing to run on that. Let us pull this card out. Okay, we have the card out. It appears to be labeled. Uh, w17198 uh, um, yeah it's like they've gone on, on all the capacitor legs including the electrolytic they've got um, a little bit of um, gee, it's, okay all right so on the back, oh, W1719B, sorry, not 8. Yeah, W1719B interface, maybe, IF interface. So we've got a date stamp on this connector of 86. So, okay, we've got a whole bunch of connectors to the serial port. And then one goes off somewhere hey i've got a serial port connector now if i need one <laughs> okay so let us get the machine out of the case let's disconnect this battery machine out of the case so I screw under there I'll leave that connected somehow. No, I better pull it out. So. Okay. Okay. Ah. Okay, we've got all this governs on here. So can I just push it? What else is there? So it looks like it needs to slide out. Um, or it could come forward, couldn't it? I don't see anything else holding it in. What if we take this off? Oh, wait a second. Did, uh, okay, so did I have this switched on or off? Does that make a difference if it works? I don't know. I'll just double check to see if that was... So there are some chips on there, but I don't know if they're just like some sort of buffer chips. Or if they are actually ROM chips. Goes in like that. Try not to short anything. Let's just stick that over there. Okay. So if we try this again, run. Oh, I'll put a space. ROM1 colon. No, same. Okay. Tested, doesn't make any difference. Off, squeeze that out. So that's just connected. There's a yellow wire, which is not the same as an orange wire, is it? As far as I can tell, there's nothing else holding, holding it in. It should just slide, I guess. What else could be? Mm, a bit fiddly, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's just okay. Just took a bit of effort. Can I lift this up now, or do I have to take off these standoffs? 
Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay. Ah, oh, oh, okay. Get this in through here. Right, there's the case. Over there. All right, so this is where the RAM expansion would go. Um, I think it's an 8, 8K RAM expansion can go in here. So they've got this. What's this? Oh, that, I'll have to check the manual what that's set to. So that's connected up to here. What are these chips? Are these just buffers or something? Where's my loop? Mm hmm. I'll just, I don't know if you, you can, can see it. You, can, you might be able to see it better than me. Probably, <laughs> I'm recording this in 4K. Okay, 74HC, so it's 74HC04s, 74HC11. All right, so they're just basic logic chips. IC1 and IC2. Nothing on, nothing on there. Okay. So that comes through to what pin? Okay, so if that's the front there. That's pin one, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, connected to pin 20 on this RAM chip. I have to look up what the, if that's where pin here, yeah, that should be right. Okay. All right, so I'll just look up the, I'll just go and look up the pin out for that. Okay. And where did this orange wire, so this orange wire goes up here. Oh, is that parallel? That's the parallel port, isn't it? Let's have a look where this goes in here. Oh, the expansion port. Uh-huh. Okay. So I'm not sure what the pin out of the expansion port is. It's down. Which way does it go? But before I forget, it's just the very last pin at the bottom there. I'm just trying to pull it out. Coming out, coming out, coming out. Okay, it's moving, but it's not coming out. All right, I'm not going to force it. Okay, interesting. Um, right, I just need to go and have a look. Okay, I want to see what that pin, what pin 20 of that um, chip is. And find out what these MC14001B, they're also date coded 86. That's awesome. All right. All right, all right, all right. So I've done some research. Uh, so this hooks up to chip enable one, CE1, which is active load on the um, expansion RAM, which is a TC5565, okay. So that's what that does. And these two, so we've got a 74 HC11, was it? Yeah, so that's, uh, what's that? Triple three input, oh, low battery warning. So triple three input uh, AND gates and just inverting buffers there. So I'm guessing that, yeah, the ROM cards went in there. But it looks like, oh, and um, if I've got this right, that's pin 39 on the expansion, which is VCC2. So, okay. All right, uh, okay, makes sense, I guess, maybe. So we've got nine volts in here to power the whole thing and then we're just taking VCC. Oh, hang on. How are we powering it? Oh, no, okay. Right, so we're taking the 9 volts and we're powering it back. So we're powering the machine via that, via the expansion. Okay. 
So, yeah. Oh, okay. And these chips on here, from what I can understand, MC14001B, quad NOR gates. Uh, so I just sold a bunch of those. Oh, except for that one there. That's different. Anyway. So it looks to be, so based on this, what is the date? We've got 80, 86 date stamps on here as well. So the first Canon EOS camera came out in 87, Canon 650. And um, you could get for it, you can change on these old film cameras, you could get different backs for them. So for example, you have just the plain back, but you can also get like a date back that would imprint the date on the film. Um, but you could get a, um, uh, a technical back E, I think it was, that would store some information and then an interface unit TB. Now, from what I've read, it, it only mentions MSX and IBM PC. It doesn't mention anything about this little fellow. Um, but that what that allowed you to do, apparently, is store all the technical information for each shot. Aperture, um, shutter speed, um, blah, 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 um, for, each, for, each, um, for each shot. And you could also write some notes as well, and you could also um, command the camera from from the machine using this uh, this interface so I've not found any reference to an x07 version only MSX and IBM PC um, but that's basically I, I assume what this was for was um, you know because back in those days you don't know what's on the film until you get it developed so you needed some way of of especially also when you take a shot you don't you don't record all the aperture uh, like you do in the um, XF information on, on digital photos today. So I'm guessing that's what this little gizmo was for. So it's a shame that the actual ROM isn't available. I'm guessing that maybe it was a, it had the ROM on here, plus there was extra RAM maybe for storing that information. Um, yeah, because you also got the cassette so you can save it to cassette as well. So, but, Nonetheless, it'll be, especially for my LCD screen, it'll be good for uh, for spares. So um, it's cool having the katakana on the keyboard. Um, these keys aren't as yellowed, so let, let's see. Um, but certainly this display is a lot better than, than this one. So I'm going to bodge them together to get one good working one. Anyway, so that was that was basically this little weird machine. I hope that was of some interest. Um, yeah, and of course, yeah, I'm always happy to hear if anyone has, has more accurate information than my guesses, but I'm always happy to hear about that. So, yeah, and obviously, read the video, the video description. I put all the information there. Okay, um, I've got something interesting waiting for me at the, at the uh, post office, so I need to go there next. Okay, bye for now.